Hi folks, this is Todd with Survival Sherpa out here again in the woods uh, for, a, for another uh, classroom setting. And today, uh, the other video, the last video we did, we were estimating distance uh, using right triangles. And so basically, we're going to use the same method, uh, only uh, we'll set it up differently. But uh, we're trying to determine the height of a tree or a pole or whatever, uh, whatever thing that we're trying to measure height in. Uh, there's several ways we could do that, but this is uh, just an easy way to do uh, estimations on height without a compass of any kind, using it with a 45 and all that good stuff. Uh, this is just an easy way to do it if you've got a sunny day. So what you'll need basically is uh, the sunshine coming out and uh, sun shining down creating a shadow. And uh, so you're going to set up and, and mark this shadow right here with a stick or something. And you're also going to set up either a known item of height, for example, a six foot walking pole or seven foot. It doesn't matter as long as you know the height of that pole. Or you could stand here yourself, cast a shadow and make a mark right here. So basically what we've got then is um, we're gonna measure, <clears throat> we're gonna measure the known height of us. Might be six foot. I'm just rounding it to six foot. And again, these are estimations. And uh, we're gonna, visually mark where we are right here on a shadow and we're going to measure that distance from where we're standing the length of our shadow <clears throat> and let's say that our shadow measures five feet okay now we're also going to come back to this to the base of our tree or pole or whatever we're measuring and we're going to measure off this length of that shadow and let's say it, it goes uh, 20 feet. We measure that off with paces, whatever you want to do. Um, and we get these two measurements. If we know the height of our known item, ourself, or a pole, or a stick, and we've measured off our distance here, then we can quickly determine how tall, an estimate anyway, of how tall this tree is. And the way we'll set that up is, is we'll just use a simple proportion. So we don't know the tree height, which is what we're trying to figure out. That's our variable. So we're going to set up what we do know. We know our height, or the height of our stick, 6 over 5 equals, now remember, keeping these two shadows, they're proportional, so we're going to keep these two on the same line. This is our denominator. The shadow is our denominator in this fraction. The shadow length that we've measured off will also be our denominator on this fraction. And we're looking for the height. We know our height, which is a, a um, six foot. We're going to put an X here as our variable. And there's a couple of ways to do it. We can cross multiply these numbers. Cross multiply and we'll simply divide. So, we're gonna cross multiply, and if we do that, move over just a bit for you, we're gonna get five times x is five. X equals six times 20 is um, 120. And now all we will do is we'll divide by our five. So we divide by five, and that goes away to one, which equals our height of our tree will be 5 divided into 120. So we'll do this division, long division. 5 goes into that 2 times, leaving us 10 there. Uh, bring down our subtract and get 20 here. 5 goes into 20, 24. So our height, erase that. The height of our tree is 24 feet. So from here to the top of our tree, is an estimate of about 24 feet. Okay, so um, there's some other ways to do this <clears throat> without a compass, and uh, I'm gonna clean up my board. It's getting pretty dirty. I've, I've gotta really get some cleaner out here in the woods with me. But um, anyway, that's one way to determine height of an item. If you've got sun out, and um, if you've got a known object here, and you know the height of it, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, if you can multiply and divide, you can figure out the height of your unknown tree. All right, let me uh, clean up my board and we'll get right back to you. 
Okay guys, we're back. Um, I've done another illustration here for you. And um, this method is uh, the 11 plus 1 method. And basically all you're doing is you're going to pace off uh, units from the base of a tree or whatever you're trying to uh, estimate the height on. So the best way to do this is when you're pacing this off in units, it can be steps, pace counts, whatever you'd like but you're gonna be more accurate if you can get your units to come out to 11 units where it's almost, I don't know, so you're eyeballing or estimating the height of that with your paces out here or your units of measure. You come out 11 paces or 11 units that estimate the height of that tree anyway. Uh, when you get out to 11, uh, make a mark there on the ground and then take one more, one more unit out with a staff or a stick, um, stick it in the ground there, or if you can reach out and hold it vertically, that's important that you hold the staff or the stick vertical, um, as vertical as possible, okay? So when you're holding that or you put it in the ground, get it as plumb as you can, um, and then one more, one more unit out, you're going to get down on the ground and get, a, get your head on the ground almost, um, this is a uh, poor rendition of me um, trying to draw a dude on the ground looking up. Okay, he's kind of laying down, I guess. <laughs> anyway, get your eye le uh, ground level if possible, as close to it as you can. And you're going to sight at the base of your staff to the base of your tree. And then, from your eyesight, you're going to look up to the top of whatever it is that you're estimating the measurement of tree and wherever your line of sight crosses this staff right here you're going to make a mark there on that staff and you're going to measure that in inches from the ground to where the line of sight to the top of the tree crosses this staff when you measure that in inches that should give you an accurate estimate of the height of your item that you're measuring. Okay? So and that's the 11 and 1 method. Um, you know, if you don't have a measuring device in your kit out in the woods, whether you're camping or bush crafting or whatever it is that you're doing, hiking, and um, one good thing is like this Leatherman right here. Um, it has both centimeters and inches on here. Um, this is the inches right here. Now, another good thing that, that is always good to do is to know, um, if you don't have a measuring device, to know um, some, some basic measurements of your body parts, like your hand, from, from pinky to here. For me, it's eight inches, okay? So if I needed to measure in inches this stick, and say from here to here is where I where I measured out here in the woods, I could measure my eight inches just like this, okay? That's eight, 16, 24, and then I could just go knuckle to knuckle, 24, 25, 26. So if that were my measurement on this, on this uh, 11 plus one method, then my item that I was trying to estimate would be about 26 feet tall, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, we're um, just out behind my shelter here, and we're going to measure, uh, being that this is kind of, a, kind of a woodsy area, just as a demonstration, we're going to measure that beech tree, and that is the tree right here in front of me. Um, it, it's probably 25, 30 feet tall to the top. Um, still got some of the beech leaves on it, which is a, a great resource for fire. So, from my beech tree here, I'm going to take... 11, 11 just regular steps. That's 11 right here. I'm going to mark that spot there. Okay. That was my 11th unit from that from the base of that tree. So I'm going to poke this down in the ground, try and get it as plumb as I can. It's a rather straight stick. Now I'm going to take one more pace here, one more step, 
not really paces, but one step. And there, I'm going to make another mark. Okay, here's my 12th unit right here where my hand is. This pole marks my 11th unit. What we want to do here is get down on the ground, eye level, and sight up that pole until we get the top of that pole to Okay, I've got it lined up base of my stick to the base of that tree. And I've got eye level on the ground. And I'm siding up the tree. And I'm not going all the way to the top because it's kind of burly up there. I can't really get a good spot to figure. I'm going to that fork in the tree of that beech tree. And I've got a spot right here on my stick that I've that I've spotted and we're gonna go measure that. Um, here's the how far the stick was in the ground. So I'm gonna start measuring. That's eight, 16, 24, just below here. So that that's about right. 24, 25, 26 maybe, 26 feet to the branch in that tree. So 26 inches here equals 26 feet on the height of that tree. Now I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna cut that tree down just to prove this, but I have done this before with known heights on, uh, on, on poles and uh, this method does work. So uh, if you haven't subbed and you enjoy this channel, please do. Um, we sure appreciate all the support you guys give us. Until next time, guys, you guys keep doing the stuff of Self-Reliance. Talk to you soon.